before I start to lose my shit, let me just list a few teams that have not lost 5-0 at home against Liverpool since Ole Gunnar Solskjaer took over Manchester United, Manchester City, Chelsea, Arsenal, Spurs, Leicester City, Norwich City, yes, even Norwich, a team that gets abused by Liverpool so often they could place a restraining order against them. Even they haven't lost 5-0 to Liverpool in the last three years. Even the worst team in Premier League history in Derby County only lost 2-1 at home against Liverpool. Fucking, they needed a last minute Gerard winner to beat them. And at least fucking Derby County scored, United didn't. Whoever the f- Jay McEvely is has scored more goals against Liverpool at home than fucking Ronaldo since he's returned. This is supposed to be the biggest game of English football, right? Always marketed as such. And yet in spite of all of that, by the 70th minute, Liverpool has as much incentive to score as an 8-year-old scrolling through Tinder at his wife's funeral. Absolute fucking shambles. The theatre of dreams is what Old Trafford is called. And in 50 minutes, Liverpool used it with as much respect as a fucking public toilet. Last week, Liverpool went out and thrashed. Watford 5-0 away from home with most people joking that Ranieri would be sacked by half time. Well here's a fun fact, that Watford team has a wage bill that is one eighth of United squads. And yet here we are with another final thrashing in the next week. Ronaldo and De Gea alone make more per year than Watford's entire team. And yet here they were losing 5-0 at home and 4-0 by half time. But let's not blame individuals for probably the worst team performance I've literally ever seen from United. For the last three weeks, almost every fucking headline related to United has been some shit about how Zidane or Conte wouldn't fit United's system. What fucking system? Firstly, United have no fucking system that isn't conceded at least four goal scoring chances to every single team. Secondly, good managers adapt systems to their best players. And if you think either of those two are not better managers than Hall, than Solskjaer, seek help. De Gea is making like three what should be game winning saves like, per game. But because Solskjaer is about as good at organizing a defense as Benjamin Mendy's lawyers, he cannot keep one fucking clean sheet. Another reason why Solskjaer is still in is because he scored in a Champions League final. Well, you know who else has scored in a Champions League final? Fucking Gareth Bale. And I'm pretty sure he's closer to being Tiger Woods than a competent manager. Honestly, there cannot be someone who backs Solskjaer after this. Or so I thought, until I saw this is somehow an actual headline. We are miles away from being among City, Chelsea and Liverpool. Are you fucking serious? We haven't finished below Chelsea in the league in two years have are unbeaten in the league against both of City and Chelsea, have outspent Liverpool by quite a fuck ton, and were in a title race nine months ago. What do you possibly mean not being at their level? There is one place where they are far better, and that is in the dugout. Coming into this game, it was easy to predict a Liverpool win, but this shit of a performance would, would deserve a sacking even if Solskjaer had won a trophy, like the Europa League. Except, wait, he didn't even do that. Europe's second rate competition that tends to be won by whichever team of La Liga gets closest to Madrid, Bas or, At- or Atleti in the league but isn't good enough for Champions League. There wasn't many alarm bells when we lost to West Ham in the cup because it was the second team and it would help focus on the league. Focus on the league! We are 8 points off the title below fucking West Ham and Brighton on the same points as Arsenal and this is the first match against the top 6 we've played this season. This needs to end. Only out. Obviously. Now if you're still watching this, I'm not actually a football channel. This is only the second football video I've made. And in the first one I said Liverpool would finish below United. So you can see why I don't make many of these. I was just fuming and decided this is one way to release my anger. But anyway, make sure to like, share and even subscribe if you want to see whatever the hell I decide to make on this channel. But I'll see you guys later. Peace.